Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Ken's Tech Review. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys how people would get LT on their Nexus 4 uh, back then or people that are still wondering how to do it now. If you guys know uh, Nexus 4 came out with LT capabilities but not able to have LTE on it. It didn't came out stock ready for LTE due to the carriers not being up to date or uh, not ready and stuff. So they just put the capabilities in there, but they didn't. It wasn't. It didn't came with it pre-installed or ready, should I say? So um, to get the LTE, you know, I'm going, to, I'm going to show you guys three methods, which will be one. The first one will be just to install a custom ROM. The second one is going to be just to use a. Uh, 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 and the third one is just going to be a certain code you could put in and I'm going to I'm going to direct you guys to another video to show you guys exactly that um, so the first one is the custom ROM and if you guys have been following my channel I'm doing a lot of custom ROMs lately and uh, one of them I did was Chroma and Chroma here it basically just comes with LTE just ready I mean I didn't have to do anything I install it and boom it was there I didn't have to go in and be like oh you don't have to do the app and do other stuff for you do other roms it was just basically just install a custom rom which means i have of course it had to be rooted you gotta have a uh, custom recovery installed and all that good stuff and you're able to get lt simple as that that's the most easiest way i can show you guys and if you guys think custom roms in, uh, installing custom roms are hard then you guys are wrong <laughs> trust me but the second one then is this one. This is this is an app that you could download from the Play Store and call Nexus 4 Modem Flasher. Now you see you have LTE hybrid modems which you use to get LD, LTE enabled on it. Well this app is a little complicated. You have to go in here, you have to enable LTE, you have to reboot the phone as they as they tell you. And then you have to go here and flash on these modems. But also I realized I had to go in this info stuff, which I'm gonna show you guys in the next in the next way. Well, not I'm gonna show you guys. I'm also gonna show you guys, and you have to probably change it to LT. See how it's changed here? You have to probably change that to LT and then go back and then flash it again if you don't see it. And any one of these ones could work for you guys. For me, it was this one that used to work. But again, any one of these ones could work for you guys. It depends on your phone, your carrier, and all that stuff. So you're just gonna to need to play around with it, try a couple of times, enable it, and if you're rooting you don't have a custom recovery installed this app installs a custom recovery for you so that's something to note and you guys can easily go ahead and check that out now the last way i'm going to show you guys is lou's video which he explains what i couldn't explain and if you guys if for, for those that are overseas carriers and sprint and all the stuff he goes into detail about which carriers are available and all that stuff in this video so you see on box terry palpy has about 2.5 subscribers many subscribers which is really great he's going ahead and like motivation i see his videos and look at my like you're not going to get there someday but you know for right now just go and watch the video if you guys if any if any of the ways i show you guys seem like far-fetched then his way is a little bit easier but again it's up to you guys and that's it for me so if you guys like the video be sure to leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel so i can get to 2.5 just like you lou uh but for now guys that's it for ken's tech review catch you guys in the next one peace